This is Anchionis, a creature that's clearly a dinosaur. It's got powerful legs here, ending with toes with sharp claws on them. And its head, which has been detached, lies here, upside down, but you can see the jaw, which has teeth in them. But what is spectacular about this particular specimen is the perfection of the preservation of these structures. They show that the simple filaments have developed into something far more complex. The central stalk has tiny strands branching out on either side. The filaments have become feathers. Analysis of them has shown that the crest here on the head was a rufous red color and the body feathers were striped black and white. There are feathers all down the legs. And looking at the density of them on the forearms here, it does look very like a wing. So the question is, could this animal fly? Could this be the moment when a dinosaur became a bird? A clue to the answer could come from the environment in which it lived. At this time, this area of northern China was covered in lush forests. Animals that could climb trees would be able to collect food that was not available on the ground. They could also find safety from ground-living predators. Because Anchionis lived high up, it could use its feathers to glide. It must have needed all the feathers growing along its front limbs, hind limbs and tail to create a large enough surface to catch the air and slow its descent. It wasn't capable of flapping flight. But at 160 million years old, it's now the earliest creature we know to have used feathers to fly. The gliding dinosaurs would eventually give rise to a whole new group of vertebrates. The birds. Over 9,000 species crowd our skies today. An astonishing evolutionary journey had enabled the vertebrates to dominate every corner of the planet.